What is your definition of beauty, Phil? <laughs> Put you on the spot. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Rowena. It's Felisa. <laughs> so we made many videos on skincare products like reviews of the most hype brands, reviews of affordable dupes, but we get a lot of messages asking if there were more affordable skincare products that's easily found in drugstore or retail stores. So today we partnered up with Walmart to share some of our favorite affordable products because there's a lot of great skincare at the drugstore and it doesn't mean just because we pay a lot that it's good. And then the same goes with just because something is less expensive doesn't mean it's not going to work. And I think today is a really good example. I was actually really surprised with a lot of these products. Half of them, I feel like we loved already mm. or we already know of. The other half, I was thoroughly impressed with. Generally, I really love CeraVe and Bioderma is a classic. And then some other ones, especially the cleaner brands that have kind of entered the drugstore, I was really excited to try. As per usual, we'll go from cleansing and the beginning of our skincare routine all the way to like mask and even hair products. A little bonus. <laughs> The first thing is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. This has such a unique texture that... It's almost like a moisturizer. It's like a moisturizer. It's like you're putting moisturizer on your face, but then it's actually a face wash. Yeah. So it's very gentle, it's fragrance free. It's very good for people with sensitive skin. The only drawback for me is that it doesn't remove makeup. That's true, because it's so gentle. I mean, it's pros and cons, right? Because if you were probably to use this, you'd go in with something like a micellar water or a cleansing balm prior, and then follow through with this really gentle. I think what this stands out as is, you know those cleansers that are too stripping, they have yeah. too many alcohols, there's like you can literally feel all your face is being washed away. This just feels like it's a gentle cleanse. There's a blend of three essential ceramides. Ceramides are basically, they act as glue that holds your skin cells together and protect against environmental factors. There's also hyaluronic acid, which is very, very hydrating and nourishing. And I think with CeraVe products, they all have these three essential ceramides in all their moisturizers and cleansers. I think that's what they're like known for. This is a really good daytime, like morning face wash. Mm. If you don't want, because you won't, you just put on a bunch of products on your face when you go yeah. to bed to wake up. You don't need anything that's too wash. harsh or stripping to mm -hmm. wash your face. So this is perfect, I think, for the morning and mm -hmm. at night. Like Felicia said earlier, you can first go in with micellar water or some sort of cleansing balm and then use this as the mm -hmm. second step of double cleansing. So then the one that um, I picked up is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser and this one's for normal to oily skin. They have a dry skin version as well. So similar to CeraVe, I feel like um, after using this, it is slightly fragranced. Do you smell it? it? Smells like childhood. It does. It's like a very kind of OG cleansing scent. So it says it removes excess oil without drying, is non comedogenic, non irritating. I think with a lot of the drugstore brands, they do really well in formulating very sensitive and gentle products so that everyone can kind of use it. And I think that's a pro for the drugstore because they are kind of marketing to the masses. This one foams, so it's very similar to the medicated La Roche Posay one, which I really love and it just like yeah foams nicely into a froth and then when you wash it off it definitely isn't stripping it's not too harsh it doesn't feel like there's chemicals on my face and so it's just an enjoyable like day and night I feel like so sodium lauryl sulfate is derived from coconut and it's a gentle cleansing agent which is okay for most people but obviously not every ingredient works for everyone and on top of that there's sodium lauryl sarcosinate which is a derivative which is made from fatty acids of caffeine and it's used as the gentle foaming agent and surfactant that helps to bind to oil and the dirt on your skin so that it can be rinsed away really gently. So the ingredients in this is very gentle. How is this compared to most cleansers you've been using? Like what's your go-to cleanser? Go-to cleanser is the La Roche-Posay and I would say this is like very similar. Yeah, and they both kind of do the same thing. This one's probably a little bit more foamy actually. And it removes makeup? Ask no. Questions. No. <laughs> because I use waterproof mascara. So nothing will take off waterproof mascara because it's wax based. So you need like a cleansing balm or a micellar water to really like dissolve that. Apart from that, you'll get light like BB cream off the face. Or if you're just wearing a powder and a bit of concealer, it'll do its job. Ding! Yeah. So this is the OG Bioderma. Recently, what I've been doing in the morning instead of using like one of these cleansers 
is just using a micellar water. And because the micellar water has a very interesting structure, the micelles bind to oil and water. It's at both ends of the tail, it's different. It's very gentle in kind of, you know, when you wake up with a face of grease, especially now that it's summer, summer. and the sweat. Um, and just putting this on a cotton pad and just like swiping it all over the face. That's all I do for cleansing. And it saves so much time, so it's really good. And do you find that that's more like your skin reacts better? Like yeah. the rest of your days, like you're fine and yeah. not overproducing oil? No, if anything, it's like much better. So for oily combination or even dry, I think you can definitely do this. It's changed my morning routine, people. <laughs> if I'm wearing a lot of makeup when I had this, I would use this as the first step. Mm -hmm. And then I'd go in with something like Just like this. press it over. Press it over. Holds it for 30 seconds Circle. and it's done gently. <laughs> and you don't have to rinse afterwards. So it's like a good on the go, especially if you're on the in gym or like exercising. So in this, there's also cucumber fruit extract, which contains antioxidants and is anti-inflammatory. And it also helps the conditioned skin to make it feel soft. And then there's also mannitol, which is a humectant to help condition the skin. So once again, it is very nourishing. It's very good. Next, moving on to the Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub with Activated Charcoal. I actually used this a long time ago when I first started getting into mm -hmm. Derma E. It was one of their like original ranges yeah. before they even did any sort of repackaging. Have you tried it? I have. So I feel like in general, Derma E is just a very like natural, yeah, safe, gentle yeah. brand. <laughs> they package themselves, you know, no GMO, gluten-free, soy-free, recyclable, cruelty-free, and they're all just about the natural ingredients that you can use every day. So this one includes marine algae extracts as well as charcoal. So what I don't like about this anymore is because I'm fine with uh, scrub granules, but this is a little bit too big for my liking. Mm -hmm. So like there's apricot seed, kernels that's used in scrubs that are very fine, like super fine. Like Kylie skincare. Huge. Yeah, but this one you can like just see. So I don't really enjoy it just for that fact because it's huge. If I want a really good exfoliation, I would rather use chemical exfoliants. It is gentle enough to use every day. It's just personally, I don't use scrubs as much anymore. Physical exfoliants. Yeah. So in this cleanser, there's aloe vera extract. It's like the first, very the very first, organic aloe. It's an anti-inflammatory and it soothes the skin. And the fact that it's the first ingredient, to me, it's, it's great. And another one of the key ingredients that gives it that ashy gray color is the charcoal powder. When charcoal powder is used in skincare, it can potentially help to absorb and draw oils and dirts from the pores. Especially for oily skin, you'll see a lot of charcoal in the ingredients because it acts as a magnet to draw dirt. Although how well that actually works, it's different for everyone, but I like using it in masks. Next is serums. So when I saw this, I was really excited because I think what the drugstore lacks are serums because serums are usually the most expensive product in the skincare routine because it is packed and potent, full of ingredients and active ingredients that are supposed to help with specific concerns. So we have two here from Insta Natural, and the first one is the Skin Brightening Serum, and then there's also the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So at first, when I first got this, I was like, oh, it's so cute. This serum is like a pink beigey color. But when you actually look at it and open it, it's this like carrot. It's carrot juice looking. Carrot color. Yeah. Which I think it's so fascinating. So basically, the there's just like a coating inside the bottle to protect it because there's vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, alpha arbutin, and niacinamide. So for the vitamin C, since it is very, very unstable yeah so what i love about this is all of these four ingredients that are listed the vitamin c hyaluronic acid alpha arbutin niacinamide they're all known for skin brightening and there's also turmeric root extract in this which is probably what gives it that really bright orange color so everything about this is soothing for inflammation as well as brightening and yeah, but I love that it's quite lightweight. So the first ingredient was the aloe leaf juice, which is 
very prominent in the texture, very nice and refreshing. And then there's also sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is the derivative of vitamin C. So if you've watched our vitamin C video, you'll know vitamin C has a lot of different derivatives because it is very unstable. So what the derivatives are, it just stabilizes it a little and it's not as potent as the pure L ascorbic acid, but it's much better for people with sensitive skin. And then you know how sometimes brightening products or vitamin C products mm. may tingle a little? Yeah. This one doesn't tingle at, at all. And I have minor eczema on my skin and it's not inflaming it in any way. And then we also have a video on niacinamide, which is my favorite ingredient actually. So we'll link that up and we won't go too much into it. Yeah. And there's also licorice root extract and it is widely known to help lighten dark spots in the skin due to glabardin, which is licorice's star antioxidant that helps to inhibit melon production. There's also ubiquinone, which is also known as CoQ10, and it's a strong antioxidant that helps to fight off signs of aging and neutralizing free radicals. We just did a video about this as well. Then also the turmeric, which is a natural antioxidant that's been used for thousands of years across many different cultures. And I drink it, you can use it on topically. If you're trying to do a DIY, do not to put too much of the turmeric powder because it will stain your skin. <laughs> But Just like how it stains your chopsticks. Yeah, and stains basically everything. <laughs> it has all the right stuff. Next is the Instant Natural Hyaluronic Acid Serum. There's vitamin C as well, green tea extract, jojoba oil, and aloe vera. This serum is a lot more... Um, it's not as sticky. It's the, thinner. The aloe is still like making it a little tacky, but it's not like goopy. Oh, I love this smell. <laughs> My hand is just a concoction of smells. <laughs> so for the vitamin C, we already know the benefits of vitamin C, so let's just skip over that for now. There's green tea leaf extract, which is rich in antioxidants and prevents loss of skin elasticity and damage from the sun. Doing, doing, doing. <laughs> It also has ginkgo leaf extract, which has a high concentration of antioxidants to help reduce free radicals and prevent aging in the skin, but also soothe and calm and hydrate, which is everything that we want. And not many products I've seen have ginkgo leaf extract. It's quite a beautiful leaf. It's like that yellow, like fan shape. I was gonna say ginkgo reminds me of gecko. It's so cute. Geico? It's totally irrelevant, like a gecko. The gecko? Like a gecko. Sign up to Geico. <laughs> so we just started using these two serums and I have to say I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Mm. You can use it day and night, um, but just with anything with vitamin C, you wanna wear your sunscreen as per usual, but it's so gentle, it doesn't sting, it doesn't have that chemical exfoliating feel on the skin. So really good for those of you who want a hydrating serum, who are wanting to brighten the skin and just like, yeah. It's your everyday kind of serum. Next is this CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. Since there's retinol, take it away, Fel. Well, actually, this is really interesting because it's almost exactly the same. My hands are so moisturized from all of these. I can't even open the cap and they're like sweaty. <laughs> it's exactly the same dispenser pump as the Obagi um, retinol. So I really love it. It's like so cute. It's like a little Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> this is something very new that I haven't come across for drugstore especially. Serum slash moisturizer with encapsulated retinol. So the thing with retinol we all know is that it can be super potent, it's drying, but this one's formulated with less than 1%, but also it's got CeraVe's like three concoction ceramide formula, which helps to moisturize the skin so that it doesn't leave it crackling, flaky, irritated. And what retinol does is really help with things like breakouts as well, because it calms the pores down and controls the sebum, but it also regenerates a lot of cell renewal. So that's why it's called Skin Renewing Cream Serum. I think it's great that it's good for your skin barrier and at the same time, it's helping your skins renew. Yeah. Skins renew. Skins like renew. you have multiple skins. <laughs> it's helping yeah, your skin renew. Yeah. And after using it, it's very gentle. It is like super gentle. So for those of you who are just starting out with retinol, I think this is actually the perfect entry. Even the poll is choice, 1%. With retinol, 1% is already a lot. And that'll cause a lot of flaking and drying. This is already formulated with all the nourishing ingredients, including things like 
vitamin E or tocopherol, as well as niacinamide and hyaluronic acid working in conjunction with the retinol. So very hydrating. So now moving on to moisturizers, you can tell we love CeraVe, but also it's because these two particularly have a lot of reviews, a lot of good reviews. So first starting with the AM. The AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Sunscreen has broad spectrum SPF 30, moisturizer throughout the day and helps restore protective skin barriers. So again, three essential ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Awesome. <laughs> Hyaluronic acid and it is oil free. So my only thing with this is that it's very white. It's so white. Like the the you need to work, yeah. girl. And she's already got really fair skin. And if it's already white on fair skin, I have no hope. This is just like gentle working. And then when you do this, after like a few, you know, strokes or a few rounds of blending I like by now it should be blended yeah. but okay that's only using one finger I'm gonna use two fingers to to double the blending you see like because I also have olive skin it's just harder to work with these mineral sunscreens when you have tan skin or if you're gonna even wear makeup on top of it and cover it then should it's be fine. fine yeah but what I love about this is that it's oil free so it's not greasy and white, which is kind of like what you would associate with very traditional lifeguard sunscreen, <laughs> bodyguard. No, not bodyguard. Lifeguard. Lifeguard. At the pool or at the beach. Yeah, they're like It is designed to be used as a moisturizer, not like use a moisturizer and then apply a sunscreen. And I really love that CeraVe includes niacinamide in most of their products, actually. Okay, moving on to its nighttime friend, the PM. We both love this. This is so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh, the texture sold me. Yeah. Yeah, and how, um, what do you call it? How moisturizing it is. This comes out as like more of a, a gel consistency. It glides so nicely across your skin. So nice. It's like your hands are just ice skating across your... <laughs> yeah, and for nighttime, especially in the summer now, I really enjoy these lightweight kind of soft, Lush textures for this. It absorbs so quickly, it's like my skin's just like, mm -hmm. I'm done. This also has the three ceramide concoction as well as hyaluronic acid and niacinamide once again because they have niacinamide in everything. Nice. Our skin tends to get really dehydrated if you're not um, hydrating it enough, so this is really good at night, especially when paired with a humidifier because the humidifier fills your or air. Or just live somewhere humid during the summertime and leave your window open. No, I mean, mos that's... no mosquitoes will come in, don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> and I think this has a lot of good reviews yeah. across the board. People leave so many for every product, which is really helpful when you're fact researching for your skin. One note, aside from all of this, I was very surprised with how much K-beauty products they had. And even high-end, yeah. they sell La Mer. Wow. Wow. So there's something for everyone. Next, we're moving on to facial treatments. The first thing we're going to talk about is this Olay clay mask that's in like a deodorant stick yeah. form, which I found so amusing. And I was like, I really want to try this of all things. I want to see if it works. It looks kind of gimmicky. You just like swap it out for someone's deodorant. Yeah. And be like masking huh. their pits. But then the white charcoal might help absorb. absorb but then it, you might also get it would just be like sticky because all the toxins will go back into your skin and yeah. you just leave it on for too long. <laughs> but anyway, this stick comes in, this is the white charcoal, so it's white. There's also a darker charcoal color and a pink clay. Mm. So the good thing about these masks, I think it's they're not drying when you spread it all over your face. It's not the type of clay masks that will dry to desert crackles. It glides on very smoothly. This is probably the quickest application of a mask I'll ever yeah. do. I'm a fan. It's so smooth because I'm used to very thick clay masks. This one is thin, so it's not like it's overly thin. drying. Yeah. Because when I used to talk a lot about the clay mask, I was like, never use it for dry skin because you're already lacking sebum and oils and all that. But I think this is more catered towards yeah. like combo dry. So for this one, there's kaolin clay and clay is extremely gentle to use. It has mild exfoliating properties and it won't overly dry out your skin. There's also charcoal powder, which is another ingredient that can help to absorb oils and dry out the dirt mm. in your pores. All in all, I really like the, the idea of this, 
but the actual effectiveness of it, it's so a little you didn't lacking. really feel anything? No, I didn't see too much brightening. I didn't see my pores visibly, like the appearance of my pores were still the same. Mm. It's like, eh. I it's think okay. I'd stick with my glow recipes or even the Derma E. The Derma E charcoal face mask is really good too. I think it's in the same line as this. It has the same colored mm -hmm. cap. Yeah. I don't know about like the applicator in general. How would I get into these nooks and crannies? See, that's the thing. Like, like it's kind of hard. You you can use like the side of it to really try to yeah, get it like. <laughs> this is the found skincare. Haven't heard of this. I think it's a, either a Walmart in-house brand or a brand that's exclusively sold at Walmart. Mm. I was one of those very affordable but natural skincare lines. The cool thing is they tell you like um, online, it's like however many percent naturals. But this is the Kakadu Plum Overnight Sleeping Facial. And why I picked it is because in Australia, we source Kakadu Plum. And Kakadu Plum is a natural source of vitamin C, which helps to brighten the complexion and help with hyperpigmentation, but also protecting it from harmful environmental factors. But also it's an overnight sleeping facial, which I also love because with these overnight masks, like gel masks or, you know, like summer Fridays, you put it on, you wake up in the morning and it's like nourished, hydrated and soft. So that's why I thought I would try this. When I first opened it to try, it was like putty. Come on, yeah. I just want to Let's use go. you, but you won't let me use you. Let's go. No? Okay. So once you get it in and actually get some of the texture, it's very, very smooth. So I think what this has is a lot of textural enhancers mm -hmm. to give it that consistency. But when you spread it, it's so smooth. And I think with this texture, what it does is act as a really great occlusive to trap in all the moisture and all the products that you put in prior to this in your skin. So it definitely does act as that. The good thing with Found is that they have like for the brightening line, there will be step one, cleansing, step two, toning or serum, step three, hydrate, mm -hmm. step four, if there's a four. So it's all very, it's like accommodating for beginners. Yeah, it's very comprehensive. So moving on to oils. We have an oil. This is the anti-wrinkle treatment oil. And this has both vitamin A and E. So even though it says anti-wrinkle, anyone with skin can use a facial oil. And vitamin A is the retinol, and vitamin E is a naturally occurring chemical in our sebum. So all of that acts to really protect the skin barrier. This has also got safflower seed oil. And safflower oil contains rich amounts of linolenic acid. Linolenic acid is especially great for oily skin because it acts as sebum to help moisturize the skin barrier, which then encourages the skin to produce less sebum and fewer blocked pores slash inflammation pimples. Yeah, and I think for a long time, people with oily combination skin were hesitant on using oils. It basically tells the skin that, okay, it's hydrated, you don't have to produce as much, and so it won't be as oily. It's not like one of those quick drying oils, yeah. which sinks really quickly. Um, it's still like sitting there, you know? So with oils, you can mix it in with your moisturizer, you can use it before your moisturizer, you can use it after, it's kind of just however I think you feel personally. works best with your skin. Yeah. And with the treatment oils, it's multi-purpose. So you can use it on your skin, on your face, even on your hair. And with a lot of Derma E oils, they have a bunch of them. You can even use it on your nail. Yeah. Like sometimes when I do too much nail polish and it gets really dry or like, um, you know, I've like done too much with it. I will use this oil and just kind of work it into my nails. Oh, another thing you can do is if you wear foundation, you can mix a few drops of oil in to dilute it and give you that glow effect. Um, but if you already have oily skin, I would not recommend. It's very glowing. Mm. You know how models give that like glow? You can add oil into your um, foundation for that effect. So then last of all, we have a hair product. It's a bonus. Yeah, because we um, struggle to wash our hair every day. So dry shampoo is a must, especially for me. And actually, I think I've almost used every brand of dry shampoo in the drugstore. Like Tresemme, Dove, Garnier, Batiste. like I've gone through, Batiste, like all of them. And personally, I really do love the Dove ones because they're so inexpensive. Like three or four dollars or five dollars. Five. Yeah, this is the volume and fullness dry shampoo just to spritz up your life. 
you know when it's oily and flat, you blast this into your hair and it gives like that fullness, which I probably need right now because it's hot in here. <laughs> Some of them leave more white residue than others. I feel like this is a little bit more fine, so it's not like you can't like, can you see it? No. Yeah. So just make sure you really um, shake it before you apply. And I love the smell of this. The smell is very important when it comes to Because dry shampoos all smell so strong. Because it's actually trying to help you mask your The nest. smell of your... Oh, yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. So if it doesn't, you won't feel refreshed, right? Some of the... Like the one I use from Living Proof, no one likes that. Everyone complains every time I use that. Yeah, so at this work, she just like, braids her hair with dry shampoo and everyone's like, where's Phil? What is she doing now? Yeah, so this one's nice. I like it. I'm a firm believer in dry shampoo. So all in all, beauty is more about accentuating what you already have. Yeah. And what's already there. Highlighting what you have. Yeah. What is your definition of beauty, Phil? <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> Well, when it comes to skincare, you want to know what works for your skin. Over the years, I found that gentle actually works best. When you put your skin through too much and you're trying to like get rid of a pimple or get rid of something, it's actually pushing it too far and then it's over drying. So a lot of these that we mentioned is very nourishing, very hydrating and good for most skin types. And I think for me, especially after learning about skin berries and all the mm. things that we've talking about and the components of what builds a healthy functioning skin barrier and all yeah. that. You know, I didn't even think of getting the CeraVe hydrating cleanser, but when I saw it at Walmart, I was like, essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid, yeah. I'm gonna try this. This I think will be really good for me. We highly recommend you try these two as yeah. well. And if you're ever curious, you can just look on the reviews because those are people who've also tried and tested and maybe they have a closer skin type to something that you relate to. One quick note for those asking for teenage skincare routines, I think this is a great place yeah. to start. Let us know any of your questions below and we'll see you in the next video.